torch.squeeze squeezes the dimensions of your data. So let's take a quick look at this documentation. So torch.squeeze returns a tensor with all specified dimensions of input of size one removed. So if we've got some tensor that's n dimensions, this will now squeeze it into n minus one dimensions. And we can squeeze it with this dimension parameter. Um, so let's try out an, an example. So first let's import torch. And we'll create some tensor um, and we'll give it some dimension that is going to make it easy to visualize what torch.squeeze and torch.unsqueeze is actually doing. So let's give it one, two, three, um, one, two, three, and we'll give it another array of five, six, seven. Um, and we'll add some brackets around here um, to make it kind of redundant. So let's create this tensor right here. Um, can't forget torch, torch.tensor. Um, and let's take a look at what we have here. Um, so we've got this three-dimensional array, um, but really it looks kind of like two dimensions, but we have an extra set of brackets on the end here. Um, so let's take a look at the dimensions according to torch. So we'll say tor x dot and dim. We have three dimensions. So if we have three dimensions and we need this tensor to be two dimensions, what we can do is we can squeeze these dimensions. So let's take a look. Let's say if we said x dot squeeze. Then now we have a squeezed tensor. If you can see, we got rid of this bracket right here. So this is one way that we could do it. We could just call squeeze. Um, something else that we could do is we could say torch.squeeze of x. And if we take a look, we get the same thing. So both of those are the same way to accomplish this. Since the title of this video is torch.squeeze and torch.unsqueeze, I'm going to use this for the rest of the video. So let's take another look at what else we can do. Let's see if we could play with the dimensions. Um, so let's see if we could say torch.squeeze of x and dim equals one. I bet this is going to either give us an error or leave us with an unchanged tensor. Yes, yeah, so we do not have a changed tensor, um, so we can only squeeze these um, squeeze these dimensions if there if we can't um, if we can't do anything about squeezing these. So. Let's take a look at this right here. Um, if we say dimension equals zero, then we're just squeezing that zeroth dimension. And now we should have a dimension of two. Um, so I feel like that is um, basically the essentials of torch.squeeze. Um, we're basically getting rid of a dimension. Let's see if we can change um, this first dimension. So let's get a good example going for this one. So let's say we have torch.tensor and we'll make a tensor of um, 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3. Now let's say each one of these is going to be their own list. Let's see what we get with this. And let's look at the dimensions of this. So we can say y dot endem. And we have three dimensions. Let's see if we can squeeze that last dimension. So we would say torch dot squeeze of y. And we'll try the second dimension. And as you can see, we removed all of these inner brackets. So um, let's take a look at what Y looks like. So we've got all of these individual arrays. So if we unsqueeze it, we can unsqueeze each one of these inner arrays into now we just have a normal list. Um, so I think this is something that is definitely useful that you're definitely going to use when manipulating your tensors. So let's take a look at torch.unsqueeze. Um, let's take a look at that documentation right here. So we'd say unsqueeze 
and we look at torch.unsqueeze. So torch.unsqueeze returns a new tensor with a dimension of size 1 inserted at the specific position. So this is basically just the opposite of torch.squeeze. So let's create another tensor, um, something simple. We'll say torch.tensor of 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6. And uh, let's take a look at this tensor right here. So we have um, two dimensions. Let's confirm that with ndim. Um, two dimensions. And let's see if we can make this three dimensions. So we'll say x.unsqueeze. Um, and we'll specify this dimension to be zero. Let's use torch dot unsqueeze of x. And now we've added a dimension here on this outer portion. Um, let's see if we try dimension equals one. Um, so now we can see that we added um, a dimension right here. So what about dimension equals two? and we get what we had up here. So torch.unsqueeze is basically the opposite of torch.squeeze. Um, here you're adding a dimension. Um, so torch.squeeze, you're removing a dimension, and torch.squeeze, you're adding a dimension. So you can always add a dimension, but you can't always remove a, di a dimension, um, which I definitely think is interesting. Um, so that's about all I have on torch.squeeze and torch.unsqueeze. Um, if you have any suggestions um, for more ways that you can use torch.squeeze and torch.unsqueeze, I'd love to talk about it in the comments.